All right, how's it going? Now, I got another video coming up today. Well, not today, tonight, actually. Um, and this one's gonna be slightly personal this time because I wanna give you guys a little bit of a backstory about all my school years that I've had. Now, before I get started, I want you guys to obviously leave a like on the video. Obviously, show me a lot of support. You know, if you guys know anybody that that likes YouTube, obviously, you know, come come hook them up and have them, you know, look my videos up and subscribe to me and all that. So, I actually would like that. So, so show the video some support. But um, this, like I said, this isn't going to be more of a personal video, and I'm going to give you guys a backstory about about all the years that I went to school. Now, I have to start off by saying that I'm not going to expose the schools that I went to. I'm only going to give y'all the names of the schools that I went to, and that's it. Only the names, cause I don't, I don't want to expose the schools like that, cause you know I don't want y'all to know where exactly I went to school at, like the actual address. Uh, -uh. I'm not giving no damn addresses in this, just the names of the school. And if y'all are familiar with these names, or if you're familiar with these schools, then y'all must know where they at. <clears throat> But, um, but yeah, so if you know where these schools are at, then you know. If you don't know, then you don't know. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to give you the names of the schools that I went to and just give you guys a backstory about how every school year went. So let's start with my kindergarten years. And, yes, this will be a long video, so expect it to be at least over 20 minutes, probably. Uh, okay, so let's start with my kindergarten years. The first school I went to in my kindergarten year was the Rosa Parks Educational School. That was my first school I went to. And I actually really liked that school. I actually really loved that school. You know, I, <clears throat> I obviously learned a lot. You know, basically how to speak, how to write, all that. I love the teachers that I had, you know. I didn't I didn't really have much friends back then, so, you know, that's why I wasn't really 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 feeling it cuz you know, I didn't have a lot of friends back then. So, you know, I did love recess. I did like lunchtime and all that. I think the only thing that I actually didn't like was nap time. <clears throat> Because they would have us sleep on the floor with with um, with mats and stuff like that, like something like something like this, not really like a mattress or something, but they would give us like little mats for us to lay on on the floor, and it really felt pretty uncomfortable. So that's why I really had a hard time trying to take a nap, especially with teachers were sitting there watching you so I didn't really like it so I think nap time was the only one I didn't like about kindergarten but the rest was was pretty darn good because I enjoyed it you know because I was a little kid back then I was more happier back then so oh <clears throat> oh and <clears throat> And I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video that I was also on an IEP. So I had a learning disability. So so during my kindergarten years, I literally had to switch schools. So I switched from the Rosa Parks school to the James Chittick school. So I went to the Thomas J. Chittick school. Is that, is that the name? Well, I don't know the full name, but it's the Chittick School. I went to that school. That's that's also an educational school that I went to. <clears throat> and I like that school, too. You know, all the activities I'd done and all that. It was, 
it was hilariously fun. It really was like housekeeping, painting. Like it was, it was so much fun. So, and, and I think, and I think there was one embarrassing moment where I was in the cafeteria and we had a lunch period, and I think I grabbed my lunch. And I think the only beverages that we was able to drink was regular milk and strawberry milk. Like they had those milk cartons. I'm pretty sure y'all know those. Um, I actually grabbed the the strawberry milk um, carton. And everything was good. The food was tasty, obviously. Uh, The strawberry milk was tasty, but not even like a good I think between 10, 15 minutes after lunch, I threw all that back up. And that was humiliating. And I literally had to get picked up that day because I gotten sick because I literally threw up that strawberry milk. So I didn't, now I don't know if I was allergic to strawberry milk. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't freaking know, but but it was at the time. So I literally thought, was I literally allergic to strawberry milk specifically? But I drunk more strawberry milk in the in the in the future years and I have not gotten sick from that. So I'm pretty sure it was just that one time that I threw it back up. So that was humiliating, but but yeah, that's the that's the that's the next school I went to. That was the James J. Chittick School, or however the name is, or whatever the name is. But I went to that school. Next, there is elementary school, and that's the Thomas J. Kenny School. I do remember the name of this school. I don't know the name of the of the of my ne- of my other school that I just said, which was the Chittick, I don't know the full name of that school. I didn't just call it the Chittick. So for elementary school, I went to the Thomas J. Kenny Elementary School. And I actually really liked that school. That school was amazing. I was there ever since from first grade all the way to fifth grade. So that school was hilariously fun. You know, obviously math, um, I actually love, well, to be honest, I actually loved the math there. You know, the math was so easy, obviously. Because obviously, like, the more, the more you go up in, in, in grad school, like, the more you go up, the more harder work is going to get. So, um, but yeah, I went to that school, stayed there throughout first through fifth grade. It was amazing, you know. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. You know, it was it was hilariously fun. I can't remember if I had any field trips back then. I actually really can't remember, but um, but it was fun. I actually made a few good friends, but I don't know where they're at now. So I don't know if they're working or if they're back in school trying to major in something. I don't know where they're at now. But, but God bless them wherever they're at now. But, um, yeah, the Thomas J. Kenny School, that's my elementary school I went to. That school was fun. Not much memories I've had there, but pretty decent school. Now, for middle school, here's where things start to die down a bit. Sixth grade... I went to the Washington Irvin Middle School and I completely hated that school. I hated it. I hated that school. Now, I don't know if it was because of the teachers or if it was because of the work. I think it was <clears throat> I think it was probably both. <clears throat> like on day 1 of my 6th grade year, all the teachers that I've had, they were expecting me to understand everything and how to do each problem, whether it's math or or any other subject, ELA, science, history. 
they expect me to know the answer to it. But I just entered my sixth grade year. So how do you expect me to automatically understand it? I just came from fifth grade. So, yeah. So the Irvin, I really hated that school. You know, there was a few teachers I actually really loved. You know, I don't know where they're at now, but um, I've only met a couple of them. And they're still out there. I don't know about the rest, but um, but wherever they are, they're probably either teaching at another school. They probably retired. I don't know. But there was a few teachers there that that I loved. So you know, I've made I made even more friends. So me meeting friends is starting to go up pretty high because you know that's just how it is. So I hated the school. I hated most of the teachers. But I liked a few of them, but not all of them. But but just overall, I hated my middle school. The school that I wanted to go to was the was the Mildred Avenue School. Now I don't know if y'all know where that school is at, cause obviously the name sounds pretty obvious, cause it has cause it literally has the street name in the school name so y'all should already be familiar with that school but i wanted to go to that that middle school i wanted to go there because i had my fifth grade graduation there but that was the only time i went to the mildred it was just for a graduation but i wanted to go to that school but i was told that they didn't have an iep program so I probably couldn't go there. But until I asked if they did, the answer was yes. They did have an IEP program there. So I could have went to that school instead of the Irvin. But too late anyway. But yeah, I hated the Irvin. I wanted to go to the Mildred, but that never happened. And my seventh grade year, um, my seventh grade year, well, let's just say that throughout my middle school years, I was a little bit of a wimp back then. I was a little bit of a geek back then. I was, I was, I was more of a teacher's pet. You know, I always dressed well. You know, they'll always have us tuck in our shirts, obviously, and all that. I would always listen, pay attention and all that. I always got picked on and all that. And plus... I was more quiet too because I did make more friends, but they were all in other classes. I was in a class with people I hadn't, I I, I had, that I didn't know. So I only knew one person that I had classes with, but that was it. I didn't know everybody else until high school, or at least until later in my middle school years in which I met them. But but during my sixth grade year, I only met one friend, and that was it. Now I don't I don't know where that person is now because it's literally been I want to say at least ten. Well, I want to say like maybe. Well, well, maybe not 10 years. I want to say like maybe between, I want to say maybe between three, four, five years, maybe. But it's, it's been a while. You know, I really can't remember. It's, it's a, it's a complete fog to me. So, but, um, yeah, my seventh grade year, I was more of a teacher's pet. I was a wimp a little bit. I was more quiet. I was more. I was more distant from other people. I didn't want to talk to anybody. You know, so same thing in my sixth grade year. I was the same thing. But but, but everything was a bit more advanced. So that's why I couldn't really talk much. Because I I would have needed more help to do better, obviously. And then in my eighth grade year, things did begin to improve a lot 
you know, all the friends that I met in my sixth grade and in my seventh grade years, I've had classes with them in my eighth grade year. And that's when I became a bit more sociable because I was with them now. Throughout my sixth and seventh grade years, I, I didn't I didn't have anyone. I had no one to talk to. But now in my eighth grade years, or in my eighth grade year, yep, all that started to come back to me, and I had people and friends to talk to and hang out with. So that was that was awesome. But like I said, just because I have good memories from middle school doesn't mean that I love the school. I still hate it. But I just love all the friends I met. I met. That's pretty much it. Okay. And now let's get... So, so, so yeah, in my middle school year, it was called the Washington Irvin. I hated that school. I wanted to go to the Mildred Avenue School. That was the middle school I wanted to go to, but couldn't. And now, for my high school, I went to Cash, Community Academy of Science and Health. Yeah. Yep. And I actually really like that school. That school is decent. It really is decent. You know, my ninth grade year wasn't too bad, you know. As soon as I got into it, things were way more complex. So, seriously, things were way more complex. But I think that the more help I got in, obviously, like the more... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, the more help that I got in, the more better I got in certain classes. And I was more of an A, B, and C student, basically. So... My grades were good, so, so um, yeah, Cash was the school I went to. The school was extremely decent. I was okay with my freshman year. Uh, my sophomore year, tenth grade, um, I enjoyed it. Um, my ninth and tenth grade year, I made way more friends, obviously, which was which is awesome, you know, I loved most of the teachers I had, so that was, that was amazing, I literally liked almost every teacher, like, even teachers I never had, because most of the friends that I made, they had classes with those other teachers that I don't know, but once I got to know those teachers, they got to know me a little bit better, even though I was never their student. So, you know, it's kind of nice to get to know a teacher that you never had as a teacher before. So that's that's nice. You know, like I said, I'm that sociable. So, yeah, that's my freshman and my sophomore year. My junior year, uh, I still had the same friends. You know, I felt like I still had the same teachers, you know, but like I said, I, I love them all. So, you know, it's crazy. But now things started to really change in my senior year. Yeah, my senior year, things started to change or escalate really, really high. Um, I still maintain the same friends that I made in my freshman and my sophomore year. And that's when I first met my best friend forever. And I think it literally started back in 2017. And I didn't know that she was in cash at the time. I didn't know. Cause I was literally so deep into work, obviously. So I didn't know. I didn't know she was around. I didn't know she she went to that school. I thought she was at a complete at a complete different school. Whether she was or not, I didn't know. So, but um, but yeah, but that's when I met my very, very, very first best friend. And been my best friend ever since. 
things in my senior year did get a little bit more complex, obviously. Uh, I think I was given a couple of advanced classes, like obviously advanced algebra. Wait, advanced algebra? Um, advanced algebra, I think I had that in my junior year. And I had pre-cal in my senior year. So pre-calculus, I had that in my senior year. But throughout my high school year, the only, the and plus I've also took the MCAS. I'm pretty sure y'all know the MCAS. Um, the one MCAS test I could not pass was the math. The math MCAS was a complete drag. I could not pass the damn thing. I couldn't. That's because I was never given MCAS prep for it. I was never given MCAS prep. And that was the issue. That was the reason why I could never pass it. I've only passed the ELA and the science, but not the math though. Because I was given MCAS prep for ELA and for science, but I was never given it for math though. And I was wondering why. So, that literally made no sense at all. But until it did come to me, I was like, finally, I'm given MCAS prep for math. So that way I could finally pass this damn test so I can graduate. And obviously there's the SATs too. You know, I took that and I'm pretty sure I passed it. So, boom. And I think I also took SAT prep too, so... That's a that's a win-win right there. And, and aside from all the field trips that I went to, especially Six Flags, that's the overall, that's really the best field trip I ever had. And the, the best field trips, the best field trip I ever had in high school. And in my middle school years, I think the only amusement park we went to was Candy Bee Lake. And I actually like Candy Bee Lake. Candy Bee Lake is a really decent, decent amusement park. But like I said, nothing can't top Six Flags. Nothing can't top it. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I really do hope I get to go to Six Flags again. I don't know. That's probably not going to be for a while. But besides of all the field trips I went to, especially the college field trips I went to, because obviously in my senior year, people are going to start talking to you about, about where do you want to go after high school, whether you want to go to college or, or not, or if you want to work a job, you know, they are going to take you to certain colleges that you might want to consider attending to or applying for. So, but... All those trips that I went to, those college trips I went to, they were actually irrelevant to me. Because <clears throat> I think the only reason why I would want to go on a college trip is to literally just get out of school. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Just to get out of school. And, and then at the end of the tour and stuff like that and the info sessions... The best part is the all-you-can-eat buffet. Mm. Those colleges have buffets that you can literally just walk into and then eat anything you want. But once you get into college, I'm pretty sure you, you, you're, you're probably going to be given like an uh, like, uh, like ID or something that you would have to either tap or show them and then they'll let you walk straight in and then get your food from there. You can eat there, stay there, stay there as long as you want until you have to go back to class. But that was the only thing I liked about those college trips was the food, was the food that they had there. Can't go wrong with that. Who doesn't love food? <laughs> I do. I like food. No, wait, not like food, love food. 
fruit, especially when it comes to all you can eat, all you can eat buffet. You can't say no to that. But um, yeah, my senior year was actually pretty stressful because, you know, I had to do senior dues, obviously. You know, graduation requirements, which does involve you passing the MCAS, passing the SATs, paying all your senior dues and all that. Yeah, all of that had to be done. And then once senior sign out came, you know, I wasn't really panicking. Like I knew that I was finally going to get out of school until one tiny mishap came. But I immediately dealt with it just like that. And I officially signed out and boom, all done from there. Graduation was a week later and I was out. And the last time I saw that school was when, was when I went to Six Flags with him. And that was it. That was the last time I was at school and that was it. And that's literally my whole entire school experience about when I went to school. I chose to not go back to school because, you know, that was my main education right there. Now I'm trying to get a job. And I obviously told y'all this in previous videos that I'm still trying to get a job, but still waiting, you know. But, um, yeah. Yeah, that's my that's my backstory about all the schools I went to. I given all the names of the schools, but not the addresses. Maybe except for the middle school part. There is one middle school, like I said to y'all, that I wanted to go to was the Mildred Avenue Middle School. And Mildred Avenue is a street. So if y'all are familiar with that street, then y'all would know where that school is, but I never went to school there. I never went to school there, but I wanted to. But that's where that school is because the street name is literally in the name of the school, the Mildred Avenue Middle School. But that doesn't mean I went there. I went to the Washington Irvin. That was the middle school I went to, but I'm not gonna tell you what street that school is on because I don't want to expose it like that. So, yeah, but still, but the rest of them, I didn't, I didn't expose the street names of it except for one, but, but yeah, but those are, but those are all the, the schools I went to, you know, if y'all want to give a backstory of your school life, you know, you can let me know in the comments section down below and maybe just give me a backstory about all the schools you went to, you know, maybe share some memories, what you had back then, you know, if you made any friends or loved any teachers. And um, yeah, just let me know down below if you want to share your backstories and all that. And um, yeah, y'all take it easy. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay.